figured I'd get a second one done today just so it's done. Here we have a TriStar A101S, or the CS as it's also known. Now, I know I've done a TriStar MG2 before, and then I've also measured a CXL or DXL TriStar. I can't remember which at the moment. Um, the DXL or CXL was a pretty strong machine, but the uh, MG series, like the MG1 and the MG2, I thought were really underwhelming. They had a uh, single-stage VM3 motor. I, I can't even remember who made those, but I know they were also used in Electroluxes, and I always thought it was kind of a pitiful machine. But I heard with the CSs that uh, they had switched to Johnson electric motors, which were supposed to be more powerful, and I also heard they're discontinuing the production of TriStars. Because TriStar is now owned by Eris Electrolux. And um, they actually use the same fitting on their uh, wands and their wands and their hoses, at least on the machine, or not on the machine end, on the tool end, as the uh, Guardian Ultra and the Guardian Platinum. So, I mean, it's an Eris, just slightly different. Anyways, you know, with them discontinuing it, I figured, eh, I'm going to look into the CS. You know, I didn't really care for the MG2, but I figured, you know, this might be worth looking at. So, I picked one up. I've had it for a while and just never got around to doing this. So, electrical measurements, ambient voltage. Let's turn this on. Now we got the hose on. Turn the power nozzle on. Definitely Electrolux, right? Now, just like the uh, perfect I just measured, we are going to have leakage issues when I try to measure the suction. You know, because we have uh, holes here for the connectors, and then of course we have the uh, electrical connections up top. And don't mind this, it's just a spring-loaded door. It uh, These things are... They're able to be stored on their... Oops on their end and uh, that door is just there to keep the dirt from spilling out as you do that. And before I forget to mention it, just because you know we have a non-standard connection here, we're going to have to use this adapter which was included with the machine to allow the use of a uh, like inch and a quarter tools. So we're gonna have to have that connected both here and at the end of the wands. Of course, you know, not with the power nozzle attached, but just worth noting. Well, I would need to double check. I'm pretty sure this is more powerful than the MG2. That nose diving problem.
Well, I have to admit, I thought it would do a little bit better than it did. I mean, I'll have to compare the numbers, but I'm still pretty sure this is better than the MG2. <laughs> but it doesn't quite measure up to, like, the CXL or DXL. You know, ever since Eris took over, they just haven't been able to produce a machine as decent as the uh, original IEC, Interstate Engineering, that is. Um, yeah, they just haven't made a machine quite as good, which is funny because these are super simple. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty much two metal halves. You know, a motor, a cloth bag, a switch, a paper bag, and that's it. It's like, how do you, how do you mess up a design like this? But, oh well.